Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the siphon brake connector kit on your washer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a 5 16 nut driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the fill hoses, unplug the washer, and pull it out of its opening so that you can get to the very back of it. Next we will remove the drain hose. If it still has the factory clamp on it, it's a matter of loosening that 5 16 screw and then giving it a little sharp bump to loosen the clamp. And then twist the drain hose off of the elbow. That's probably still full of water, so carefully set that aside. Next, we're going to remove the access cover on the back, the single quarter inch hex head screw. I'll lift that out of the way. And now we will remove the four or five sixteen screws that hold that drain connector to the cabinet. Now once you've removed all of the screws, you can reach in and you will find that drain hose that comes from the pump up to the connector. Pull that away, push the drain hose down and out. Then you can slide the elbow through the opening and remove that as well. Now with the drain hose pulled out through the back of the cabinet, we'll cut the old clamp off with a pair of side cutters. that loose with a flat blade and peel that off and we can remove the siphon brake like such and we'll take our new siphon brake and the clamp that came with it you probably have to open that clamp right up to get it over the hose fully insert the siphon brake Make sure it's not going to twist the hose. I'm going to snug that clamp up nice and tight. And then we'll push the hose back into the cabinet. And take caution when you're pulling that drain hose up that we don't get it tangled up with the air dome tube. And we'll reinsert the drain elbow. Push it out through. Engage the elbow with the siphon brake. Now we'll put one of the screws in just so it bottoms out and not too snug. You want to be able to turn that siphon brake to line up the other screw holes. We'll put one in diagonal to the first one. And then we'll install the remaining two. Now before we tighten any of the screws, we'll make sure that the elbow is centered in the opening. And then just snug the screws up. 
need to make sure that the elbow will still turn without binding, but that it's not too loose that it will leak. Now we can reinstall the access cover. There's your square portion on one side of that cover. We'll line that up on the bottom. Insert the screw in the top. Next, we're ready for the drain hose. Use caution when putting that drain hose on that we don't create any outward pull on that elbow so that we don't break it. Just twist it on back and forth. clamp up into position, snug the clamp up. At this point you'll want to make sure that you have the hose turned to whichever direction it will need to be when it's installed and tighten the clamp at that point. Now we're ready to reinstall the washer, reconnect the fill hoses and the power and our drain hose and our repair is complete. We told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.